In this video, I'm going to do three questions. And in all three, we'll be using properties to evaluate this. And the properties that we'll be do using here is number one, commutative, and the other is distributive property. So let's begin with solving, say, one of them. I'm going to solve, say, the second part first. So what you can see here, our question is 2 over 5 multiplied by minus 3 by 7 minus 1 over 14 minus 3 by 7 multiplied by 3 by 5. Now what you can observe here, the number 3 fraction 3 by 7 is common, right? It's there. 3 by 7 is over here. And 3 by 7 is over here. So I can take 3 by 7 as common, but not before applying the commutative property where we'll be rearranging these two. So therefore, first we'll be writing the first term, that is, this is will be as it is, 2 by 5 multiplied by minus 3 by 7. And this will precede, right? That is uh, minus... 3 over 7 multiplied by 3 by 5. So clearly the property that we have applied by rearrangement and this is commutative property. And I missed to write this minus 1 over 14. This will come here. Now as you can see that uh, 3, by, uh, 3 by 7 is common. So we'll be taking 3 by 7 as common outside the bracket and then multiplied. What is left from these two is 2 over 5 minus this minus I copied and this is 3 by 5. So this was uh, another minus here. So we missed minus as you can see this minus sign minus 1 over 14. So what you need to observe that uh, from these from here till here, right, we applied distributive property. So we'll be writing the reason for this as distributive property. And in the next part, this is 3 by 7. 3 by 7 multiplied by, if I simplify this clearly, the same is 5 only. So minus 2 minus 1 is minus 5. So it will give you minus 5 over 5 and minus 1 over 14. So clearly this 5 and 5 get cancelled. So we'll get minus 1 from here. So in turn we'll get minus 3 by 7 minus 1 over 14. Because this is my minus 1, right? Minus 1 multiplied by 3 by 7 is minus 3 by 7. Now for the further solving, we are going to take LCM and the, clearly the LCM is 14 from here. So 7, 2 times and 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 and 14, 1 times, so it's 1. So we finally get this as minus 7 over 14, which we can simplify further and write as minus 1 over 14. So this is how we have done this question and the remaining two parts can be done in the same manner.